Hello everyone, two videos for you here, both similar incidents. This first one shows a Ukrainian FPV drone intercepting a Zala 421 recon UAV. This isn't the first time we've seen FPV drones intercepting other drones. But videos of it are rare, so they're always worth a look. And Ukraine certainly seems to have perfected the tactic as, spoiler alert, we have another video of it to come soon. I've seen the price of around 80000 for one of these Zala drones, and for one of Russia's main spotter drones. Here's the location, so in the skies, around Starozeva. On deep space you can see that this is on the southern front and in Ukrainian controlled territory. So, this Zala spotter drone likely seeking out targets for Russian artillery, or even Russian Lancet drones. The second video shows a similar incident. This time though, the target is an Orlan 10, Russia's most commonly used recon drone. The drone hits it, and we then see an image of the Orlan on the ground. But Orlan costs between $87,000 to $120,000. So, using these cheap FPV drones to destroy them in the air is a very cost-effective way of doing so. But would it really be practical in a large scale? These incidents may very well be pretty much flukes, the FPV drone being in the air at the time, spotting the Orlan 10 or the Zala, then hitting it as an opportune target. With these spotter drones of the air, I think we need detecting and intercepting quickly before they call down artillery or lancers onto a Ukrainian target. Using FPV drones launched specifically to intercept them would be too slow, I think. However, given we have these two videos from two different locations along the front released today of drone interceptions, it does make me wonder if maybe Ukraine has started having FPV drones circling at an altitude actually hunting out larger Russian drones like this, hovering around and ready to attack if a larger drone is detected. If so, then it's a good cheap way of intercepting these, better than using an expensive missile. But really, again, the speed is an issue. I think these interceptions here are pretty much flukes, just the FPV drone being in the air in the same area at the same time as the Russian drone and hitting it as an opportune target. But I may be wrong, of course. So, that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Thanks so much for watching, and take care everybody.